Good morning. Two years ago, I participated in Battlefield 5 development. Some parts of the in-game interface were written using React. And we used Mobex for the global state management. Mainly because with Mobex you have more granular control over your data updates, which means you control your components renders better. Which was crucial for us because in-game interface needs to be very snappy. So in this video I want to show you how to work with the dependent stores. Or how did we do it while working on Battlefield. So imagine you have the following application. You have a node taking up, but each of the nodes you create belong to some particular user. In this case, admin or not admin. I have two stores. Node store that processes the nodes creation and a user store that manages the users. Our user store exposes the add node function that accepts text and then it calls the add node method of the nodes store, also passing the username. So how do you combine those stores? I recommend to create an init stores function where you would explicitly initialize your stores and then pass the reference to the dependency through the constructor arguments. This way you'll have a complete control over the instantiation order of your stores. And that's good because this way you won't get any flaky bugs in runtime related to the missing stores. After you got your stores initialized, you can pass them down to your components using the stores provider. What I do here is I get the object with uh, all the stores that I've instantiated and then I pass it through the context values. I will link the example repo in the description so you can check out how does all this work. One of the caveats of this example is that it's based on create react app and it doesn't support decorators. So we create stores by defining classes and then wrapping them into the decorate function manually. I have to specify the fields that the class has nodes, add node, remove node. And uh, while I was working on this example, I actually made a typo calling nodes something else. And it caused the nodes store to not update. It was very hard to debug, so keep in mind that if you don't use the decorators, you need to be extra careful while writing the field names. The official Mobex documentation also shows how to create dependent stores. They recommend creating a root store and then passing the reference to the root store to all the dependent components. I prefer this method better because this way you have full control over what dependencies do your stores know about. This way your stores will be more isolated from each other, they will know less about each other and it will make it way easier to refactor your application later. Another advice I would give is to use uh, Mobex with TypeScript, but I rather record another video about using TypeScript, Mobex and React together. Thank you for watching this video, let me know in the comments if you would like to know more about Mobex and React and also join my Discord server where you can vote for the topics for the next videos. See you next time.